This is an empty wallet. This is what you're gonna have if you don't watch this whole video. What is up everybody? My name is Dan, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys being here. Today we're talking about the Decathlon Trek 100 versus the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper Jacket like every version ever. I'm just gonna tell you, you don't even have to watch this whole video. That's the winner, the Decathlon Trek 100. Not because it's a better jacket at all. As a matter of fact, it's the heaviest jacket out of all the jackets, but you're gonna save $245 by buying that jacket. Okay, but before we get into that, we need to talk about the winner of this backpack, which we talked about giving away in last week's video, the Deuter, I think I'm saying that right, Air Contact. The winner of that backpack is Brenda Greenfield. And she also wrote in a comment, I'm 71 and going on the AT in 2022. Wow, that's amazing. So very cool that you're gonna win this backpack. I hope it helps you out a ton. Brenda, I'll reach out to you and get you that backpack. Congratulations. Oh, oh, also huge announcement. Does anybody out there want to go backpacking with me? Yes, I am 100% serious. I've had tons of people comment, email, asking if they could go on a trip with me somewhere. Um, or if I could go on one of their trips, and it's never been possible because just logistically, it just has never worked out. But a company reached out to me called Trover Trip, and they are making it 100% possible for the logistics to all be taken care of, and they're taking us on an epic trip of your choice. So all you've gotta do is click the link in the description, fill out the form, and let me know where you wanna go. So what's the difference between any of these jackets? It's weight and some materials, obviously which then equates to uh, how delicate the jacket is. So the lighter the jacket gets, the more delicate it gets. So I'm gonna put up stats on the screen. I'm not gonna tell you the stats. Stats and me just, we don't get along at all. Okay, my history is um, I've owned this jacket. This is the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisper, like the regular one, probably four years. Then you've got the number two Ghost Whisper, and then you've got the UL version. Ghost Whisperer. This over here is a carbon copy of these two. Decathlon, if you don't know who that is, they're sort of a, um, just sort of a inexpensive hiking brand. They sell more than jackets. You can get tents, you can get uh, shoes, I think. You can get some other stuff. I had heard of Decathlon maybe a year ago. Never really thought too much about it. Saw a few videos here and there about their jackets. Then I decided to make a video about um, a gear loadout that was high quality, but inexpensive. And I thought, you know what? I wonder if that Decathlon jacket would be any good. Reached out to them, they sent me the jacket. Absolutely blown away with what it is for the price. So first off, I'm gonna try the stat thing here real quick. This is a 15 denier nylon jacket. This is a 10 denier nylon jacket. And that is a seven denier nylon jacket. I think I got that right. What that means is that this is a thicker shell. This is a thinner shell in that order, which means that this is gonna be the most durable, this is gonna be the least durable. Why did they do that? Well, they're just trying to save weight over here and you're gonna pay an enormous premium. This jacket, you're gonna spend way more than $245 over that jacket. You're gonna spend closer to $300 more for this jacket. What's the difference? This one weighs almost four ounces less. You're talking almost $100 an ounce. <laughs> Wow. Okay, the majority of the people that watch this channel are not super through hikers, super high mileage people. Maybe you are, that's good. If you are, that's awesome if you are. This may be the jacket for you then because weight is what matters, like more than anything. But for the rest of us and people like me, uh, I'm out for the weekend. I'm out and I'm hiking some miles, but I'm not like killing myself, so pulling off a jacket like this is not a big deal. So what else could possibly be uh, different about these jackets? Were animals unethically sourced in this jacket? Is that why it's so cheap? No, these are all RDS certified down, ethically sourced down. So these animals were all plucked after they've already died. Uh, that's essentially what that means. Also uh, down fill, 800 fill. Pretty sure it's 800 fill. Yes, 800 fill, 800 fill thousand fill. What does that mean? That just means that the feather or the plume, it's not necessarily a feather, inside of the jacket um, is a puffier feather with the thousand fill. So it's uh, the, the higher the number, the puffier the plume is. That just means they use less feathers inside of the jacket to achieve the same uh, warmth out of the jacket. It doesn't mean it's any warmer at all. It just allows it to be just as lofty or just as puffy. 
So that's why all of these jackets are equally as warm. But the only thing about this particular jacket is that it is, I think, 85% duck down and 15% goose down, whereas these are like, I don't know, I think 90%. <laughs> I told you I wasn't gonna do stats, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I'll correct myself on screen if I'm wrong. I think these are 90% uh, goose down and 10% duck down. For the price, <laughs> this is the clear, clear winner. Now, especially if you're looking between these two jackets, the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer 2 and the Decathlon. We're talking like an ounce and a half in weight difference that's gonna cost you $245. At this point, you are literally just paying for the name. Now, the other thing that you're gonna get out of this jacket is actually more durability. Now, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, um, if it scrapes up against a branch or a thorn or something like that, both of these jackets are definitely gonna rip. So you wanna be careful with them. But I would much rather rip uh, an $80 jacket versus a $245 jacket. The down fill in ounces, I'll put up on the screen for all three of these jackets. Um, and I'm guessing that the reason that this one has the highest down fill is probably because maybe some of the baffles are a little bit larger, so it needed a little more down to fill them. But from a warmth perspective, I've literally noticed zero difference in any of them. Now, I know that's really hard to tell. Every jacket is difficult to understand how warm it is because climate matters, elevation matters, the temperature obviously matters, the time of year matters, if it's humid outside, if it's windy, but I've never been cold in any of them when I was attempting to stay warm in all of them. Now, if you still find yourself cold in any of these jackets, one thing that I've done over the past few months to layer up is actually put on an electric vest by a company called Ewool. I've taken this vest to soccer games, baseball games, uh, base camping on a backpacking trip, RV camping with my family. The Ewool Pro Heated Vest actually turns on and warms up in three seconds. On high, which is actually too warm for me, is two hours of heat. Medium, which is the perfect amount of heat, is four hours of heat. And low, if you're just looking for a little bit of extra warmth, is eight hours of heat. You don't have to take out any batteries to charge this jacket. You literally just plug it in. If you want to know more about this vest, I'll put a link in the top of my description below. Make sure you check it out. All of these have hoods. All of these have hood adjustments. All of these have uh, elastic cuffs on them. All of these do pack into their own pocket. Okay, so bottom line is, if you care about the logo on your jacket, spend $250 to $300 more. <laughs> if you care about having an empty wallet, buy the Decathlon Trek 100. As a disclaimer, you will see me wearing this jacket as my favorite, not because I wanted to spend an extra $300 on a jacket, but because I already own it and love it, and it does weigh almost four ounces less. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more, hit me up on Instagram, which I'll put right here, and I will see you guys on the next one.